We've talked on the YouTube channel about Rage in this franchise, guys, that we're hoping has a continuation at some point or another in the future. Coming off of Rage 2, guys, I think there's a number of things that we would like to see change, some things we want to continue from Rage 2, but... In this segment of the show, I want to talk about the top five things that we want in Rage 3. And when I say we guys, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions. Some of you may agree. Some of you may disagree with my thoughts and opinions here. But I would love to hear what you guys think regardless in the comment section down below what the top five things that you guys would like to see in Rage 3. So let's get into it. So coming in, guys, at number one for me is I would like, you know... Rage 3 to be the conclusion of the trilogy. Now, does that mean I want Rage to end after this? Absolutely not. I would like to see a continuation. I think this could be a really long withstanding franchise, but I would love to see them conclude the first trilogy in this franchise uh, with Rage 3. I'd like to see a conclusion here of the story. They kind of wrap up some loose ends and such, and then of course we can kind of move forward, whether they want to continue to Rage 4, however they decide to do it. I'd like to kind of like tie up some loose ends here and kind of see what, uh, you know, as far as from a storytelling perspective, what happens in the in the end here with uh, this, you know, out of these first few games. Coming in at number two for me, guys, a big complaint a lot of people had about Rage 2 was there not being a lot of things to do along the journey or along the campaign, the story within Rage 2. And so what I'd like to see is more things to do along the journey, more side missions, more just things that you're able to do along the course of the journey, maybe making it a little bit more, uh, you know, not so much of a wasteland, so to speak, even though we know it's a wasteland overall, I would like there to be some variety of different locations and uh, new environments, new places to explore and check out, you know, that goes along with like new enemies and, and even new characters that we can be introduced to. Also having existing characters, existing locations and stuff is important, but I think it's really important that they separate themselves from what was Rage 2 to now where there's just more things to do along the journey and those things aren't repetitive. Those things are different time and time again uh, between side missions and just things to do along the journey. At number three for me, guys, is multiplayer and co-op. I think is a big deal here. I would love to see like a Rage Online kind of aspect where we're able to play co-op, you know, with our friends, whether we want to play from a multiplayer perspective or if we want to go ahead and play, you know, co-op missions, whatever it might be. This is a game that's primed to have like different multiplayer experiences, whether you're talking about, you know, cookie cutter team deathmatch or if you are talking about more uh, things that are based around the Rage franchise, I think having more modes, guys, after you're done with the campaign as a whole, I think it's important that there's more ways we're able to connect with the franchise. Making this a full package, guys, so after you're done with the campaign, you can keep coming back to play the multiplayer, the co-op missions, and things of that nature. That kind of leads on to you know, the developers continuing to, you know, service the game and continue to add things along the way to justify that $60 price tag. At number four, guys, I think it's really important that there is more customization throughout the course of this game. Now, look, like, you know, you look at games like Borderlands where it's like a full-blown looter shooter. I would love to see ways that we're able to customize our weapons more with the stuff that we pick up throughout the world. I would love to see us be able to customize our characters more. That kind of leads us into the multiplayer aspect as well, where you're able to customize your characters, earn things throughout the throughout the course of the journey, but also just more ways you can customize your character, your weapons, your vehicles, things of that nature. Just add value to you know playing the game on uh, you know on a consistent basis, pl putting in a lot of hours, guys, so that you're able to make uh, you know all those really cool customization features and such. And I'm not even talking so much about the payable items. I'm talking about the things that you can earn. That leads me to number five, guys, which is earnable items within the campaign as well as the multiplayer. Having it all like kind of as one, you know, ecosystem where we're able to earn things within the campaign and those translate over to the multiplayer. Multiplayer, you earn those things in the multiplayer. Those translate over to campaign. Whatever the case might be, I think it's important, guys, with a game like this, when you have multiplayer elements, to have earnable items over that of payable items. The things that you can earn within the game, that you can see other people have earned in the in-game lobbies before a match starts, or they get to see what you've earned. It shows how much time you've put in and such, and that's what I think makes it really special and something that brings people back to a title like Rage would be earnable items over that of things that you can just pay for. And we know, guys, that in the past, 
you know, microtransactions and things of that nature, they just get a lot of these games and developers and such into a lot of trouble. So it's like having earnable items, I believe, is just a perfect way to bring people back to the game over and over again. But those guys are my top five things that I want to see in Rage 3. What are the top five things that you guys want to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Rage 3 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.